I found this wood board at Michael's. I just love the different colors. And today we're going to be working with coffee bar. It has some fun things here. It says coffee bar, coffee, sugar, tea, rise and grind, no coffee, no worky. Coffee pours nicely with silence. And then there's coffee beans at the bottom. We're going to remove the stencil from its package. It is attached to a protective backing that you want to save. When you're done, that's where you're going to put it back. And you can cut these uh, using a pair of scissors. And I'm going to take this top portion of the stencil, center it in my board, and I'm going to be using our black ink. This is all by a maker studio. You can find all these products at chalkitupfancy.com. I'm using my plastic applicator to wipe on the ink. And one tip is don't keep passing over. Get what you need on your letters. Make sure you're putting a little bit of pressure so it gets through that screen and move on. If you keep pressing on it, you're going to get bleed through. This is adhesive, which is a little harder to do, but we don't want to do anything that's going to cause that. Once it's on, I'm going to remove it and I make sure that I have water nearby so that when I remove it, I can stick it right in the water. If, if rinsed off immediately, it rinses off quite nicely. This is extremely simple, but I love it. I'm going to pull it out of the water. I have a shipping bag here. You can use a garbage bag or, um, you know, anything that's, that you can stick it to. I stuck it to that. I sprayed a little more water and I'm using a baby wipe to clean the surface. Then when I lift it, you don't want to touch that sticky part. I'm going to lay it on a paper towel, sticky side up and allow it to dry so I can return it to its applicator. I want to go over a bow. They're pretty simple to make. You want ribbon that has a wired edge. I'm going to do a loop to the right, a loop to the left, pinching in the center, another loop to the right, another loop to the left. I'm going to do three loops to the right and three to the left. And really you could do one loop to the right, one loop to the left. This all depends on the size bow you want. And you keep adding loops the bigger you want your bow. I did three on each side and then I took the extra ribbon. I usually don't cut it off and I wrapped it around the center. At this point you could tie the center with a wire or another piece of ribbon. Took the extra tie to the other side and I created a knot and then the wire just allows you to manipulate it so that it looks nice and full and I cut it with pinking shears. You can do whatever end you want. I didn't want a lot of tails on this bow and I'm stapling it to the top of my board. Then I found this basket at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to staple it to the bottom of my board just under my letters. And it's a great spot for your uh, K cups, sugar, tea bags, whatever you can think of. And I think this came out great. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much.